Good morning. We're in the Alligator Plunko Cut, southbound on the Atlantic Intercoastal Waterway. It's a cut that was dredged through the marsh many years ago through swamp, actually, to connect the Alligator and the Plunko Rivers in North Carolina. You see that big clump of trees on the shore there? When we get storms and the water rises, a lot of that can float out. Much of that probably was thrown up there by the Corps of Engineers or somebody trying to keep this stretch clean. And you should not come through here unless you have really good visibility and keep a very good lookout. These trees fall in the water, and if you get too far to the side, you can end up caught in the stumps, and that's a real problem. Sometimes they get in the water, and they stay in the bottom, right in the middle, which is where you should be. If you're behind a big boat like we are right now, you should stay far behind the big boat because the propellers on that large boat will sometimes throw up a log or a stump down in the bottom, and he's fine, but the stump or the log is still floating where you are or just beneath the surface, and it'll cream your props. This boat that we're looking at is in the A&P Canal at the south end, uh, just to the north of the high-rise. They call them high-rises. Supposedly, they're 65 feet above the water level, but they're not always 65 feet, especially if you got high water. Some folks come down the waterway with boats with masts that are too tall. They think they can get by with tactics like this. Sometimes it works, but a lot of times it doesn't, and they get into serious trouble. It's best to have a mast that's 63 feet or less, and that 63 feet should include antennas or whatever else you got up there. Even so, you always need to pay co close attention to the bridge, because sometimes debris or other material is hanging down that could snag a much lower mast. In some areas of the a Atlantic Intercoastal, you'll still see mile markers. This is mile marker 115. A lot of them have been destroyed over the years, and sometimes they're not replacing them. But these are very helpful to tell you where you are, and these are statute miles, not nautical miles. Now we're looking at shrimp boats in Hoboken Cut. There's a lot of weather out there. There's been a whole lot in the last week, so I guess they're all in here waiting for better weather. There's so much more to see. We wish you were here with us to see it all. Join us next time for another video log as we continue south on the ICW. Until then, this is Tom Neal sounding off for Soundings Dispatches.